is ChatGPT Tasks worth all the hype? OpenAI just released ChatGPT Tasks, which allow you to schedule different things to run in the future. There's also quite a few downsides, unfortunately, with ChatGPT Tasks. This is OpenAI's first jump into AI agent kind of approach in ChatGPT. 2025 is going to be the year of AI agents for OpenAI. There's a lot of exciting updates here, but there are a few downsides that you need to know about. I walked through some of the top use cases I found with using ChatGPT task. So let's go ahead and jump into the full video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. All right, welcome back everyone. So we're going to be walking through ChatGPT tasks today. So now you have an option underneath the model that you can use ChatGPT 4.0 with scheduled tasks. So basically this gives you the ability to have ChatGPT follow up later so you're able to schedule different things um, and it will do yeah follow up different sequences or things from there so you can access it uh, with this drop down menu or you can click on your profile and click on tasks um, and it will uh, give you the ability to schedule things to do in the future so some of the options it gives here is check for cheap light uh, cheap flights to Tokyo Make sure I relax this weekend. Keep an eye out for CRJ tour dates. And we can do, yeah, try our own. All right, so from OpenAI's website, they give information here on what you can do with scheduled tasks in ChatGPT. Um, so they're supported on the web um, interface and also the iOS, Android, and Mac OS apps. Um, the scheduled tasks on Windows apps coming later in Q1. Now it gives you an ability to create tasks for uh, itself in ChatGPT to run at a later date. Uh, and these can be triggered either at specific times like one-off or recurring or in the user uh, interface. And they are executed regardless of whether the user is currently online. Users are then sent push notifications or email when the task is complete. So this is the early beta, but you can ask things like, can you give me a briefing on AI news each afternoon? Um, help me practice French with me daily. Uh, remind me you know, about my mom's birthday. And it shows you how to actually set up a task here. So you can create a new task by asking ChatGPT. So let's try it. Let's say, um, give me the weather for, let's say, Gal Galveston. So it is creating a task here. Got it, I'll get that for you every morning. Turn on desktop notifications. Uh, and yeah, it looks like I have to allow the desktop notifications to happen all the time. Now on the app, uh, if you have the app on like Mac OS, you can schedule this as well. Now if you need to edit a task for any reason, you can click on these three dots here and you can do pause, edit this one, or view all tasks. So if I wanna edit here, I can come in here and edit, and I can change you know, the different time options on the schedule, and I can also change the time. Uh, and then if I wanna click to view all tasks, I can do that um, here as well. All right, um, and then you can change the notification settings in the web app um, as well to change like the push notifications. You can do email, uh, which is great too. So that's where you come underneath notifications and it's going to say tasks and you can do push and email notifications as well. Uh, currently there is a limit on tasks so you can have a 10 active tasks at any time. So if you reach a limit you will not be able to create a new task after you get to 10 tasks running. So that's kind of one of the downsides is yeah you're limited to 10 reoccurring tasks. and tasks in ChatGPT currently in the beta you don't have access to voice chats file uploads or custom GPTs uh, in there so which is kind of yeah a, a negative here uh, but let's go ahead and walk through a few of the top use cases uh, that I've been seeing and finding online for ChatGPT tasks so one of them is checking a stock price uh, every morning so here's one of the ones uh, like an ETF um, this mags so I can come in here and I can say something like 930 
I am. All right, and now we have this one, yeah, running over here in our tasks. So that's running daily at 9.30 a.m. So that's gonna fetch all the stock price for that uh, ETF, that uh, trading fund, uh, investment fund, uh, and and add that right here to uh, send me a push notification, also an email notification. All right, so here I asked uh, Tass to now write me a motivating social media post for business owners and business leaders in the style of Jason Flagel, aka me, and use copywriting styles from Jim Edwards' Copywriting Secrets to create those social media posts. Do it every morning at 9 a.m. Central. So I've got this now running, um, gonna be running every morning at 9 a.m. Central Time. Uh, one of the other things is like just reminders of different goals that you might have. So, you know, our diet plans, uh, again, going into the new year here in 2025, uh, you might have these different exercise and diet goals. So asking ChatGBT to remind you, you know, every morning at 7.30 a.m., hey, did you get your uh, workout in? Or ask it to generate like a workout program for you. I'm a huge fan of high intensity interval um, workouts, hit workouts. So asking it to create an, a hit workout every morning for me to like go ahead and do as like a good example of what you can do there. Um, so let's ask it to, I want to practice 8 p.m. Central Time. And now it's got, yeah, a reminder here daily at 8 p.m. to go ahead and practice my Spanish. Uh, another good use case here is like every Friday morning, I usually review my budget. So I'm gonna say, oh, I asked it to create a reminder for me to review my budget every week at Friday morning at 9 a.m. Doing that weekly on Friday at 9 a.m. All right, and there you have it. Again, if you wanna see your tasks, you can click on the different tasks and actually go in and view the different ones that you have set up here. You can go ahead and pause or delete them if you need to. You are limited to, again, 10 different tasks that are running at a time. So being able to you know swap these out or add to it or remove different ones than you want. I'm sure in the future, OpenAI and ChatGPT will probably be rolling out you know some increased capabilities to do this also probably voice integration you know document upload as well being able to talk with custom gpts i think there's going to be a lot more capabilities that are going to be working on adding in but this is in beta so feel free to go ahead and check it out with your chat gpt plan if you have questions you know let me know if you want to get started or if you've found other use cases that i didn't talk about here that you have found is like really valuable for chat gpt tasks uh, go ahead and let me know in the comment section Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to keep moving forward and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.